Hey guys, Caleb Collins here, and I'm here at an apartment complex in Oklahoma City, and we're gonna be shooting a video walkthrough of this apartment. Let's go check it out. So first thing, when we start a video walkthrough, we wanna walk the whole unit and make sure that all the lights are turned on. So we've got our lights turned on here. Now for a video walkthrough, I do like to have the fans on, but I'll have them on low. Wait till this spins up and then pull it and so we can drop it down into low. Turn on some more lights back in here in the pantry area. Now, I don't like to leave trash cans out in the main shots, so I'll pick this up and I'll put it here in the, in the uh, back laundry area and then this door, I'll close this off so we don't see it when we're doing all of our main kitchen shots. Our microwave, let's go ahead and turn that light on. Basically any light that we can get. Let's make sure that everything is in order and is looking good. Sweet. Let's go check out the rest of the apartment. Okay, so we've got the blinds here. I like to make sure that they're tilted open so you can get all that natural light to come back into the unit. Let's check out this space over right here. All right, so we're in the first bedroom here. Yet again, put on all the lights, blinds are already good in here. And then we'll make sure that the ceiling fan here is turned to low. Let's get the bathroom, turn on all of our lights here. Everything's looking good. Closet. Okay, so we've got a hall light here. We'll flip that on. And then we're here in the next bedroom. Okay, so we gotta fix the blinds here. Good. Tilt this unit open. And then right here, it's not all the way down. So we'll just loosen up these blinds so we can get it all the way down. I like everything to be even and flush with the blinds. And here we got the closet. Let's turn the light on. So for a closet like this, that is directly off of the bedroom, I think I actually like to shut the door so you have clean lines within this whole bedroom. Now we got a bathroom on over here. Get all of our lights on. Make sure everything is looking good. Now we're gonna get out our gear and get our camera set up and balanced. And I'll show you how to do that next. Today I'm using the Ronin SC2. Love this gimbal. The camera I'm using is a Sony A7S 3 and this is the G Master 16-35 f2.8. I have a quick release plate on here, and so I'm able to just throw my gimbal on and tighten it down. To balance this out, so we're front heavy, so we're gonna bring it back. Awesome, so now we gotta bounce that way, so we'll test this, this axis one more time. All right, we're a little bit bottom heavy, slide it towards me. Okay, that's good. Now that we've got our gimbal balanced, let's go ahead and power up. And anytime you throw on a new lens on a gimbal like this, you wanna run through calibration, so we're gonna do that real quick. Okay, so I like to start on an entry shot, walking into the apartment through the front door. Here's what that looks like. So as you're walking into the space, I slowly start turning ahead of the angle so that when you land in the space, you have a perfect 45 degree angle in the space. So when you're turning from the left to right, typically, you wanna give yourself room before and after. And the video editor will just capture, take the center portion of the video. I always like to start further back in the space and kind of work your way into the shot. And I like to work the angles. So this living room, it is a small apartment, but we're gonna be working from each of the angles to have options for the editor. Either you're gonna be editing this together or if you have somebody else, edit, edit the video together. 
With video walkthroughs, I like how we can show the space, how it connects to each other. So I started back in the living room and then worked into the kitchen. Now you're not gonna take the whole clip, but sometimes it's fun to do speed ramps. And so you're ramping right up into the space. And I like to pull it from different sides because putting a video walkthrough together is like a, a puzzle piece. And so sometimes it looks, the piece goes together perfectly from one side, but it doesn't quite work with the other side. Then I like to throw in not just walking shots, but you need some stationary shots and also zoomed in shots. So this is a 16 to 35 millimeter lens. And so you always need your set shots where you're shooting wide and showing the whole space and how it works. But often there are those details, especially when you're coming into a kitchen shot. And so I'll zoom into 35 millimeters to get these tighter shots. So you kind of select your elements throughout things that are more interesting that might be more visually appeasing. And we're zooming back out to 16 millimeters to keep getting some more shots. Now, another element we hadn't shown yet was this kind of cabinetry area. Uh, it's a small apartment, so got to show off the best features. For this shot, this is actually a shot that we'll most likely use in reverse. So you'd be thinking about shots that might look good in reverse, but it's easier to capture it walking forward versus walking backward. So then at the end of this clip, you'd flip it and reverse it and play back. So you'd be walking away from the stove area. So I decided to get one more angle from the other side of the sink because I realized that I didn't quite love how I shot it the first time. So I just want to get one more angle of it. Now we're going to be moving into this laundry area. Now, I have several different presets saved on my gimbal. Uh, memory set one actually follows, if I point down, the gimbal follows with me. Memory number two, it only follows my pan left to right. And so my verticals always stay perfectly straight up and down. So if you're trying to keep your verticals perfectly straight as you're moving into a space, then it's great to save it. And then if you're having a pointing down shot and you want to show the space because it's so tight. So you need to point down and then work your way up into the space. Now we're jumping into our bedrooms and I always like to follow the rule of thumb is this is a video walkthrough. So you're showing how all the space is connected here. That window is a little bit more blown out than what I would have liked it because it was so bright and I was set at my aperture at f2.8. So, but with the a7S III, it shoots 10-bit video. And so a lot of times we can bring that down in post. So I had the closet door shut when I was getting our bedroom shot. But of course, a feature like this, a closet this big, we definitely want to get a shot of that. And then we're showing how the bedroom now connects into the adjacent bathroom. I do shoot on auto white balance as I'm working through this space. And the 10-bit footage again is so pliable that we can easily tweak this white balance. For this shoot, I shot S-Log3, and that's a really flat profile. And uh, so I just threw a quick LUT with film convert on the footage just to give it some contrast and some color. So now that we shot our wide angles, now I'm zooming in to 35, millime 35 millimeters so I can get these tight shots on the light fixtures and where the sink's at. Now, I, didn't, I thought maybe I could throw in a, a sh tighter shot from a little bit different angle, a little bit different approach because the light fixture is going from top to bottom. And so sometimes it's nice to throw in a counter direction from right to left. Then we need to back up and get a shot here of the tub and shower area. 
you're really gonna kind of creep in and go nice and slow into these spaces. Now that we got our, our wide shots, I'm gonna zoom in here to 24 millimeters and I'm gonna switch my gimbal mode over to my uh, memory set two, which holds my verticals perfectly straight. And so that way, when I'm going from top to bottom, even though my vertical is adjusting, it keeps the camera sh perfectly straight up and down. Then we can use something like warp stabilizer to help stabilize any of the left to right motion. Walking into the next bedroom. Now, these approach shots, I like to start with a faster pace and as you get into the bedroom itself, you kind of slow down because it lets the viewer kind of take in the space. You just don't want to zoom into the space and then you're in it. You kind of have a nice slow approach in. This is kind of a tight bedroom, so I'm just kind of shooting it at, with some nice slow pans to kind of show off the space. Now we're doing our approach shot into the adjacent bathroom. Same concept here, start with a faster walk and then ease into the bathroom. Now you gotta have to be really conscious of your reflection in these mirrors. So I'm trying to crouch down low. I didn't quite get it perfectly out, out of the mirror, but it's pretty close. Uh, I kind of, I was almost down on my knees trying to stay low enough in the shot. Here I realized, man, I just can't get low enough to get a really clean shot. So I'm actually gonna stand up and zoom in my lens to get a closer perspective so I can kind of get down at the sink to get a better perspective. Nice, so there I was able to keep myself out of the reflection so I can get a clean shot. Zooming back out to 16 millimeters so then we can do this approach shot and turn into and show off this additional tub and shower. And I always like to have options, just like putting the pieces together. Sometimes it may be better to pan into the space versus walking into the space, just so you have options. And with these small apartments, uh, you need to show off the closets. And so I always like to have approach shots and walking into a closet space. It makes it more interesting versus just standing stationary. So now we've got all of our inside footage done. Now we're gonna throw on an indie filter and get some outside shots. So here I'm using the Moment ND. It's their two to five stop ND filter. I've had a pretty good experience with it. It's definitely well constructed. It does have a little bit of some cross uh, polarization uh, on it. And so you kind of have to find the sweet spot. Here, I'm just kind of kicking the door open uh, with my foot as I'm walking through. And you'll see how in our edit of this video walkthrough, how we kind of piece that all together. So I had some dealing with some from reflections from the glass. So here I decided to, to just avoid those reflections and start out in the courtyard and kind of walk in to show this front porch area. So this really pretty tree here with the sun coming in. So just kind of get in a nice slow pan shot and I wanna connect it into the courtyard to show how they have access to this green space right outside their apartment. So I'm trying to throw in some different type shots, you know, some walking shots and then some pan shots. And then in this next one, I'm gonna throw in a tilting. So it's kind of this cool atrium area. So I'm panning up and then bringing it back down to kind of bring you into this green space. So I decided to throw in one more shot here for good measure and showing this walkway, how you can walk down into the green space, into this courtyard. Now 
Now, I hadn't done any approach shots into the front door. So we're here doing our initial walking down the hall shot, approaching the door. So I like always start your pan to whatever direction you're focused on before you get there so that people have a smooth approach into what you want to show them. Now, we need to have a few more intro shots. So I decided, okay, let's just go ahead and throw in a shot from the other direction. So as we're editing it together, we'll have more options to choose from. Sometimes it'll be better from the left or from the right. Then I have touch focus. So I would actually touch the screen and I'm focusing on the number two. And so as I'm rotating and getting closer and further away from this shot, it's just holding focus right there. And we'll just take just a little snippet of that in our completed edit. Thanks for coming along with me on this job shadow for shooting a video walkthrough. If you'd like to learn more, go to nestedphoto.school and purchase a course where we'll go in depth teaching you everything that you need to know on how to shoot professional real estate videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.